Everything good with your pedals? The distance is good? All right. Instantly warm as soon as you feel that sun. I have a feeling we might get into some sea bass, but I'm okay bringing those home too. It's gonna be like 60 feet. Right now we're, oh, we're already in 60 feet. It's gonna be like almost 70 feet. Yeah, it's like a boulder patch. Look at that. That's what we want. You guys should drift with uh, squid while I, uh, while I try to set up the anchor. That much squid? Yeah, I'm going to get, yeah, I want you to get a nice sea bass. We'll cut off these tentacles. So. All right, just try that. <laughs> nice and easy, Drew. I don't know, you have to check it. Hold it. <laughs> He's coming up. Sometimes they come up and chase it. Whoa. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. That's keeper. <laughs> definitely a keeper. Was it gotta be 16? Oh, nice, Drew! <laughs> First fish of the day. <clears throat> Don't lose that sucker. Alright. <clears throat> well yeah, I'm using squid at first just to make sure that the sea bass are here. Because if the sea bass are here, pretty sure the the black fish will be here too. But then we gotta switch to crab. Dude, that thing is a beast. Whoa, whoa. You got oh. one. I can't really... Oh no. Come on, you can't pop. reel it? If you can't reel sea bass, man, we can't you can't reel a blackfish. Come on. There you go. Uh -oh. uh, Alright, drop it back down. If he came off, drop it back down. Yeah, he came off. Drop it back down. Let the line out. No way, he's still on it. Alright. He's trying to Oh, it's a big fish. Come on, Zach. Come on. Dude, come on, Pops. I can't. Come on. Get your line down, dude. I need I need bait. Oh, shoot. Here. Alright. Alright, Drew. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a disaster. Oh, my rotator got a month ago. Is the hook still in careful? You see it? Oh, yeah. Dude, sorry. Sorry. You're on your own for a second here. Just take it easy. Just go slow. Yeah. Just keep freezing. That's a big one, dude. That's bigger than I thought. So my my drag was solid then because yeah, your drag was perfect. That thing's a beast. Oh, that's another beast. <laughs> Get it in, pup. Oh, it's a monster. Oh. My. <laughs> All right, just leave it in the boat. Hold on. Holy crap. Dude, you have a ruler behind you. This one's 21. What? Dude, that's a 21. That's I haven't crazy. even caught him this big, dude. Oh my goodness. Dad, I think Dad's is like 23 inches. That thing is bigger. 16. <laughs> Told you. No, here, just, just wait. Let me come over. Yeah, but I'll do it. Just, just wait. And I got to give Dennis some bait so he can actually fish. Wow. Oh my goodness. Whoa, I've never seen one that big. I've never seen one that big. Dad, this Whoa. is like a record. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Dude. What? Dad, you got to hold it up. No, I'll let you do it. Oh, oh man, you almost, the hook almost came out, too. I know, that's what I'm saying. I think it's about to come out. Wow. Whoa. Huge. That is big, man. Let me see. Let me get them on the stringer first. Man, there's some yeah. monsters around here. Wow. Yeah, how big is How is Drew's? Yeah, how big was they you? are. Drew's was like 21. I think this one's 23 or so. Those are just fat. I don't know if he's long. But Dude, well, yeah, their head is just so massive. I have a Ziploc bag, so I can take some squid from you. So you're yeah, it's about 23. About Crazy. You mind giving me some? Yeah. Should we just keep doing squid for I now? think we or should. Not? We should just catch sea bass for now, and then, mm -hmm. and then when we feel like we can try to anchor up for blackfish, I will. In the meantime, I'll, you know, I'll try to anchor us. It's just it takes a long time to anchor. Here. Just 
get the whole bunch with yeah. some scissors in there. So, so you think pieces like this are pretty I mean, good? I mean, I like longer pieces, like, oh, okay. like a, imagine a rectangle like this big. Got it. Like you want rectangles. Because you want it to flow a little bit in the water. I've never had one that big. That was a, that, I don't know, four pounds? Maybe five pounds? I don't really know. Yeah. Here, Drew, follow me. No, it's, it's over this way more still. You guys are off the big piece. You got to be on the big piece for the big sea bass. Come follow me. You said longer strips of the squid, you think? I, I do, like... And do you, do you like, double like a it up on? I, yeah, a rectangle. I cut like a rectangle like that big and I just lap it, lap it, lap okay, it. Okay. And then leave like, you know, some hanging off the hook for flirt. You want it to flow in the water a little okay. bit. Yeah, it's right here, Pops. You, yeah, they're big rocks right here. I'm gonna try to anchor. Yeah, they'll be here. But we gotta sit and drop crabs and wait, you know? The sea bass will swim and hit anything like off the surface, off the bottom. Whoa, whoa. Another big boy. There's a big one. I heard drag. All right, I'm gonna try to get us anchored. All these guys. Drift around for sea bass. The keeper? I think. I have a ruler so I can tell. Alright. What is the limit to catch per day? Six per person. Wow, that's yeah. I doubt you guys are gonna catch that many. Yeah, let's go. 18? Yeah, keep it. Because we don't know. The bike could slow down. The tide starts stopping. You never know. I know. I remember one time Pete and I did a bunch of things. Keep what you want to eat and then you can play later. That's a nice fish, bro. You look at that hook. Got him perfect, too. Dude, that's what they call that. Ripping the lips. Ow, 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 ow. I, did, I was afraid to even hold this thing because well, you, so you have to these these guys don't have like they do have teeth when they get really big I feel like the teeth are strong, but you what you really have to worry about too is there's a gill like like snook They have a gill plate that, that here. Slicey. Yeah, right here. Oh, slicey. Yeah, dude. See that? That's a poker. That's a poker Crushing the sea bass right now man All right, let me get us anchored and this will just be a lot easier don't drift too far there, Pops. Alright, so these guys are getting hit before he hits the bottom. Which is good, but... <laughs> I'm right on top of it. Yeah. Yeah, come over here, fish here. Right. This is where the rock is. You're just gonna get mostly porgies out there. The sea bass are on the big rock. If you drop like right there, you're gonna catch them. That's where they are. Drew's got one, and it's taking drag. Oh, dude, this is big. <laughs> yeah. it, everything, it's all about being at the right spot. <laughs> dude, Drew's got a big one. Don't let him get in the wreck. Big fish. Don't let him get in the wreck. Whoa, Drew, that's a big boy, man. All right, tighten your drag a tiny bit, maybe. Just a tad. Oh, man. All right. Drew's got a big one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, you 
deer. Oh, now he's not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is a big one? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. All right, pedal him over here. Or get him in your belt first. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, Dude, that guy took you, you for. On top of the rock, man. That's what it is, I, and it's right here, guys. Go right, you. right there. Dude, do you normally catch as many sea bass? No, not like this. <laughs> 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 this is the time of year too, like they. I mean, those things are gigantic. This is gigantic. I've never seen baby ones. Yeah, you've never, never seen them like I've this, right? Like <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the one that my dad caught, I never seen one that big. <laughs> never saw it like that. Let me see if I can get him up that. Dad's got right something. On. Yeah, right there, Danny, right there. All right, Drew, pedal over to me because I yeah, can't move anymore. That. I'm now stationary, guys. Oh, there's Dad talked up. I got one. I don't know if it's a teacher, though. Who's Well, come over here. Put, get him in your boat and then bring him over here. Yeah, you never take fish for granted, you know. It's not like this all the time. Even though it seems like it. Whoa. I got him. Dude, he inhaled this thing. Wow. That might be a, that no, might just be one of the big Come here. Ones. Yeah. Dude, he just engul he ate the weight too. Wow. Yeah, no, I'll measure it. Dad's 23. Dad's 23 is the biggest. 22. Twenty twenty-one and a half. Twenty-one and a half, man. Yeah. Exactly. I'm anchored, so and the rock is right here. So now you know if you start drifting far away. All right, Pops, come here. This is crazy. I. <laughs> no, he's on. No, you lost it. Ah, oh, Drew. Overconfident, buddy. <laughs> that guy swallowed it. Yeah, he swallowed it. I know, because what happened was I was trying to video Drew, and then I got fish on. <laughs> <laughs> when you're done sea bass fishing, then we'll... I mean, I'm anchored, so... Oh, Denny's got something. Oh, man, look at that thing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, like, if I zoomed out, look at that. Look at all those fish down there. So, we got about 20 feet of sea bass on the bottom right now. Let's see if I can get a crab to the bottom. This, this may not even get to the bottom. This is the problem is there's just so much sea bass. Oh yeah. Sea bass galore. No, yeah, sea bass. I don't even think we can blackfish successfully right now because there's so many down there. You don't have to worry about just you can leave that stringer the whole time, uh, and not worry about sharks or anything. Nah, not out here. Like in other places, yeah, definitely. Wow. Instantly. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Oh, yes. I love 
love to hear the drag. Oh my goodness. Dude, Drew is getting some good ones. Mine was 16 and a half, so. All right. So did you keep it? Yeah. All right, nice. It's right here. I need to get a yeah. string like you. You you have a stringer though, right? Or no? I have this, but it like doesn't. Extend. No, he came off right there. Oh, Drew. Dang. What happened, man? You just got to play them easy, Drew. Um, you know how you're pumping the rod, which is, it's okay to pump the rod, but it's better just to like, you know, like slow pumps or just, just real. Okay. You, the concept is you just don't want tension like going harsh and then soft, harsh, slow. You just want like a constant pressure. Nice catch. Is it not hurting you? No. All right. Good job, Pops. Got them. <laughs> Found them. Good setup, man. <laughs> it's a good setup, right? These are good hooks, too. I just bought these nice new hooks. Yeah. I really can swallow that stuff. That's the thing. I'm waiting a little longer, like. Yeah, it's a nibble. I'm going to feel the nibble. I said, nah, I don't want the nibble. Let them swallow. Yeah. Let's try that. I'm going to go, like, probably, like, five, ten feet yeah. past my brother. And have to go Sixteen. Sixteen and a half. Yeah, Drew. There it is. Oh, <laughs> nice. Right where Drew drifted that is really the biggest yeah. part of the rock. Keeper? Dad's on. I told you that's the spot, right, Dad? That's where they're at. Uh, yeah. Well, like, yeah. But not like super when, at the very right of your screen, it's instant light. But like, yes. What's behind to the left of the screen is like what happened seconds ago, yeah. Nah, probably not. Even that, dude, that cast master, you could catch him with that thing. What? That metal right there, you could catch him. Yeah, yeah, Hopkins, you could catch him with that. I just jig it on the bottom? Yeah, just jig it like big jigs. But I would, I mean, use the bait first. It bait always works better. I've never caught this many fish before, so I'm <laughs> Yeah. Just oh man. I think I got a nice one. Okay. Easy. I got a decent one too. My drag must have gotten loosened. Yeah, then maybe tighten it a tiny bit. Dude, this is a nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Jumbos, man. Jumbos. I'm trying to blackfish here, and I can't even get the jig down. A nice fish. Oh, 20 and a half. How is it? Oh, monster. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. <laughs> this is amazing. It is, right? Yeah, like my shoulder's a little tired of that one. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you get tired, you can just tie up to my kayak, you know, and take a break or whatever. You can even I fish. I don't want to wait for the blackfish now. I, I don't want to catch too many of these sea bass. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, the sea bass are a much more prolific species. Yeah, 
it's much it's much more sustainable to keep sea bass than blackfish. They kind of remind me of grouper a little bit, dude. They are up, like bottom. Like, they get it and then they take it. They're actually in the same family as grouper. You don't realize you have something on it until you really start pulling at it, and then it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. It's funny you say that because they are in the grouper family, and I always thought the same thing. Yeah, they kind of have that that top fin that looks very much like a grouper too. Yeah. I know. Oh yeah, another nice one. See like how I'm keeping constant pressure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just don't want to like swing. I think I did a pretty good job on this last one. Yeah. So when they go, you want to keep caught, but you don't want to pull against Exactly. Them, right? You just want to let them run. If they feel like running, you let them run. You don't reel in, but you try to like hold the rod tip high enough to keep caught. Yeah, that's an average size one. I'm going to start putting them in the cooler soon because you see the yeah. color goes away. Yeah. So that's like seven. Look at your, look at your oh, no, what? Look at your I know, that's what I'm saying. Insane, dude. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Like, it's just fish on the bottom. It's not even like. So, you guys didn't come out this far with mom and dad? No, no. This is the spot, dude. Yeah, this is yeah, the this spot. This is unreal over here. This spot is insane. I knew it would be good. I just knew it was like kind of far and. Dude, <laughs> no one comes out here. That's what we're realizing, dude. Yeah. This spot is literally unfit. That's what it is. Can you lift that up for a second? Whoa. Nice catch. Oh, 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 that was that first one so like, Yeah, like dude. That was next <laughs> level right there. <laughs> that one's probably a 20 incher though. Oh yeah, you guys Yeah, more. this is definitely 21 and a half. Nice, dude. I, didn't, nice. I haven't had to rebait. You haven't like even had to rebait? In like three fish. That's really good because we don't have a ton of bait either. Really? <laughs> they swallow it. Okay, I, I they're just such in an aggressive mood right now that they just don't even they're not even looking at your bait that much They're just see you. They just want it the, the thing is too is there's a lot of competition, right? So like if they don't to them if they don't grab that thing coming down then their next 30 buddies next one yeah, yeah. They're just annihilating everything we put down a good problem, right? Yeah <laughs> It's a good interference fish, you know, I can well, at least it's not like 40 or C Robin. Yeah. <sighs> oh, yeah. <sighs> oh, that's a nice one. Um, oh, <laughs> that was a big one. A little bit further out. Yeah, we were out like that way. That was closer to like where the boats were. Oh man, look at that rod bang. Dude, this thing feels heavy because my drag is tightened. <laughs> Cheers got something nice. Still got it? Oh, I can't even get to the bottom every time you drop and it's and they're big fish too. It's not oh Whoa, okay What is that that may not be a uh, sea bass Uh, that's a blackfish. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm using crab. Yeah, I don't think sea, sea bass fight like this. 
A lot more head shape. Yeah, it's a blackfish. Oh, it's a nice one. Wow. Oh, dang, look at this fish. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, let's go. Wow. Wow. Oh my God, that thing's gigantic. Look at those teeth. Blackfish. Nice one. Crab. What a spot. They have to be 16 as well. They have to be 16. This guy's 20. Then the sea bass. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I call them bulldogs because the way they like... It has like a bull feet move. Yeah, and they shake their head like when they swim. <laughs> We're just feeding to the raccoons. <laughs> yeah, dude, the raccoons got into them last night. I came out this morning to go get the crabs and the bucket was turned over and there were like some Dang. crabs out and their legs were missing. <laughs> I'll give you a scissor. So you take the crab, you know, just try to avoid getting pinched. Yeah, a little bit. It's not like it's not like that bad, but so you, I try to take off the yeah claws, and you cut the legs like at the knuckle. All right, cut the legs like at the knuckle, like that, and then cut it in half. If it's big, cut it in half. If it's if it's small, then you can leave it. So you cut it like that, cut it in half. Okay. Yeah. Here you can have these because you're gonna need those. Then you take your hook. All right, and you go in one leg socket, okay. go in the socket, and then out another socket. Oh, it doesn't okay. matter which one, but just pull it and it should come out yep. another socket. Come out another socket like that, and then you drop it back down. Okay. And I sometimes take the shell off. I don't think you need to because these fish are so fired up. But yeah, you just want to like leave it on the bottom, and, and you kind of want to wait. You don't want to move it too much. See, see the little taps, taps. That's what you want to see. You want. You want to ignore the tap, tap, taps, and then, but as soon as you see like a deeper, a deeper pull, then you want to like, and you have to set the hook on these guys. So tighten the drag a tiny bit, because you need, you need some setting power. They have pretty rubbery lifts, you know. They're not gonna, they don't always like just inhale it like sea bass. They, they kind of, they hold it in their mouth and run. So you do need to set. Oh, oh yes. Oh, dude, look at the stringer. Oh, dang, Drew. I would, uh, so that pulled a little bit harder. Dude, it might fry them to the water. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was a black fish. I know. Well, they have those teeth, like the sheep, that sheep set I caught drew that picture, they have like human teeth. Yeah, that's what so it's So they go like. after crabs too. And I caught that on shrimp. Oh yeah. Yeah, see that's oh, why you need, a high, you need a stronger drag. You need a stronger drag. Okay, okay, you need okay. a stronger drag. You need a stronger drag. Nice and easy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to go to the gym, man. Just come out fish. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good black. That's a good black fish. Alright. Nice and easy. Cause you're tangled with dad. Uh, oh, no, Wait, dad, let go. Oh, dad, no. dad, release. Dad, 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 stop, stop. Drew, Drew, keep it tight. You gotta keep it tight, Drew. You gotta keep it tight. Dad, you gotta let go, let go. That's a black fish. I don't know, I can't see it. Oh, it's a monster black fish. <laughs> Can I grab him? What's, what's the proper handling on this thing? Wow, man, that is a monster black fish. Oh. Yes. 
Wow. Thank God. Dude, he choked that thing. Are you good, Dad? You... Yeah, what happened is I got my fish. I caught one. Uh, you know, probably just. That was your dad's fish. That wasn't Drew's. And he ran around Drew, <laughs> man. I'm gonna say, I'm like, why is he going so far out? So you can't, dude, they do have human teeth. He did swallow it. He is a little slimier than that. Oh, the, yeah, they're slimy fish. Like soft, a little soft, kind of like the weak fish ish. You, you guys got to. Wow. Isn't that crazy? As soon as you switch to the crab. That was a fun, was it fun test. To the it w the, the initial bite was just a lot more power to it. Like, it, the, the rod just bent down. No matter how, how strong of a grip you have on it, it just bends. It's about 21. Nice. Almost. What's your what's the biggest 20 and a half. I, I I honestly I think that one right there. Well, on a boat I caught maybe like a 22. 24. I don't yeah. Not not much bigger than this, honestly. Like this is a big female. Dude, this is such a good spot. Right. This is a nice female blackfish, man. Good job, buddy. I'm I'm just right. like I'm good as it is, man. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only 10:30. <laughs> Sorry. But this is the prime time for bites, though. You, you it, it will slow down. Denny, Denny should go on my side. I'm on my other side. Yeah. And Dad should attach to you. How do we attach? I'm you have struggling a whole bottom now. Yeah. Like this, right? it, you're gonna have a trouble. Yeah, we can I'll, adjust I'll you. My oh, oh, so. Give me a step. I'll get you something. Pete's got some stuff in here. I have an extra bottom rig. I might. Yeah. I yeah, you need to, because the current's only gonna get stronger too. Relax too, you know. Yeah, now you don't have to pedal. Uh, that was perfect. Like we got the sea bass when the, uh, you know, when the tide wasn't Early. as bad. Because now you're not going to want to be resetting the drift too much now, too. The current. Just want to make sure we're not moving. Moving a tiny bit, but it's not so bad. Yeah, we're, we're off the piece a tiny bit. Oh, well, well, that's why you ain't getting no bites, my brother. Let's see if we can get closer. That was just unreal sea bass fishing, though, man. I've never, like, oh, is that? Hey, taking your jag a tiny bit or no? It's a small fish. Oh, it's not a huge one. Yeah, it's a small fish. That's small. That's oh, a dog yeah. shark. Sand shark. Yeah, a dog fish shark or a sand shark. Wow, look at that little. Should be better here. It's able to reel us in a little bit. Alright, so at this point, it's probably getting close to like 11 o'clock. Uh, we've been fishing for maybe two hours. And the bite definitely slowing down a little bit, but we're also. You know, black fishing, we're anchored, and we are drifting off the piece a tiny bit, so I you know, pulled us in there. But the tide is definitely ripping a little bit harder now, so it's becoming a little bit holder to hold bottom. Uh, we all had to switch to rigs. You know, the sea bass definitely fizzled out as the current started moving quick, but it worked out so that we could actually uh, black fish here. And you know, as you're seeing, just kind of putting the fish away in the cooler. Definitely think it's important with the water temps 61 you still want the fish on ice so putting those fish on ice i think the total was roughly 10 sea bass and uh two tog at this point go another like five five ten minutes if no bites then i want to put us on a better spot because you know that's how black fishing is you, you might be 30 feet 30 feet off the spot and you won't catch them <laughs> well more than 30 feet i guess It's taking him! It's taking him! Oh, here, we might need to help him. Oh, I really can't do it. Dude, that's a... Oh, no. Come on, Dad. You got Come it. On. You got it. Use you your body. To... Leverage. Use your body. He might be... I think it brought him in the rock. It took him in the rock. No, you got it, Pop. Use your body, man. Leverage this thing. Uh, he's stuck in the rock. Oh, you can't even move it. Oh, you lost it. Dang! Dang! Dude, that was a monster. I took my rod and I was holding all my might into the water. Right. Why am I no, Pete, look, he took the hook. 
I broke it. So don't blame Papa. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, who, who, who rigged that? Plane? All right, let me see though. I think I think he brought you into the structure, and then you know I can only do so much if he brought you in the structure. If my knot uh, failed, then you can take it out. There's no me. curly cues. There's no curly cues. No, that, yeah, yeah that, that's a structure. He nice broke you off in the structure. Look at that thing, man. Gone. <laughs> that was all Pete's fault. <laughs> yeah, I, that was, I think that was like 40, 50 pound test, though. Pete, I've never had one pull that hard on me. We don't even have the right gear to catch like really big ones. He put you into some sticky that. structure, Dad. Look at, look at all the... Wear and tear on the yeah, chair. like there's there's the the line is all frayed and everything. Could have been a shark. I gotta retie your whole leader. No, it's a massive blackfish. Massive blackfish. At least I didn't lose the rod, Pete. That's true. That's <laughs> me. Like so when you pull up a fish from 70 feet, does the pressure like kill them? It doesn't though. Like some fish they blow. Sometimes them. that yeah. that's yeah. usually like at like 100 feet, 120 okay. feet. Yeah, Pops, you missed you missed the one that was living here. So let's move a tiny bit. Yeah, that, that guy was like a big grandpa, man. That guy was Grandpa Sorry, son. Oh, that's not good. But at least Grandpa survived. <laughs> yeah, with a little extra jewelry in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Let's get him. All right, you guys can try to drop down now. So you were really patient, and you eventually did catch the keeper. Yep. Yep. That's a porgy. Or something. Something not big. Oh, it's a blackfish. Yeah. The lesson was, like, you really kind of have to wait it out. Whoa. That's why I'm, I don't want to move this spot too much now because we're catching blackfish. There you got one, you got him, you're on, you're on. Oh. Danny's on. All right. Nice. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Let's go. Nice and easy. That's a, that's a keeper. That's a keeper black. Tow, tow. 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 Oh. <laughs> nice. Measure him, measure him just in case, but I think you're good. Is that your first one? I've never caught one before. Wow. Nice. Congrats, man. Let's go. Almost six, no, that's not a keeper then, right? No, it has to be 16. Oh, Almost dude, there. So close. Yeah. All right. It's like really nice fit. Those black sea bass are just like beautiful. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah they are. Striped bass, dead those. I think, dude, I think those are better looking than stripers. Really? I think stripers. You're not alone, Drew. A lot of people think stripers are cool. I think all fish are cool. Yeah. Well, I, I like fish that are like longer than they are fatter. Fatter. Like, sea bass are like little fatty. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Stripes almost. You see stripes there? All right, measure him though, because he's oh, close. Yeah, All right, so let's see. Has, can I hold him from the gill plate or no? Uh, I wouldn't since you might release him. I tried not to pit, pit the gills. There you go. Just hold him there. He's, he's not going to get out from that hook. And then just lay lay him on top of the lure. That's, That's the proper way. 15 and a half. Okay.
Oh. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. Yeah, he broke me off too. Are you serious? Yeah, sorry. Dang, dude, there must be some really serious structure. It's like the, the claws are getting a little nerfed out. There's, there's, a re there's some really sticky structure down there, so I'll just be careful letting them take too much drag, too. That's the other thing I'll say. Yeah. You know, it's good to ha let them have drag, but not too, too much, because I didn't even let that guy have much drag. Me and you have to like fish yeah. like behind us almost. Yeah. You want me to fix that? Yeah, that's okay. Right. No, it's okay. It's just that I, what happened is I, I missed the I missed You can the put, I think put dad, put dad lower on you. Then you'll have more space. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. It's all right. Just, get, just hold Drew. Just hold Drew. Just hold Drew. You're okay. You're okay. Just hold Drew. Just hold Drew. That's it. That's all you got to worry about. Here, reel in. Everybody reel in, too. Okay. The rod is up to here. Just hold Drew. Yeah, I'm going to get his kayak. We'll be back. I have, good thing is, I have a sweatshirt that's dry. You have some clothes. Yeah, I have a lot of sweatshirts. Are you cold, Dad? Yeah. All right. Cold. All right, hold on. All right, we're not out of the woods yet. I'm coming around this way. Just stay there. there. Connect with me. Just try to hold my boat. Okay. All right. You, Dad, need to get touching your kayak. Can you grab your kayak? All right. You got it? Okay. Yeah, you can see if you can, can you come around to this side? You've only been in the water for a couple minutes. Okay. So you hold my kayak. Yeah, I'll, I'll help stabilize everything. Okay. Come on, push him, push him. Push him. Oh, yeah. Pedal. 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 Pedal's in my chest. Hold on. It's stuck. There you go. There you go. You did it. You're on. You're good. Hold on, hold on. Just hang out there for one second. You want that out of your way? Try to catch your breath. What about your phone? Your phone is hopefully is it in that it's water tight, yeah. Did you put it in the thing yeah. like I told yeah. you? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's safe. Alright. I want you to pops a little. Just scoot up a tiny bit so I get your seat in the way. Are you super cold? Do you want us to change you? I'm cold, yeah. Yeah, I try to get that on. 
Well, this is wet. I have dry clothes. I have dry sweatshirt. But you should take your yeah, shirt off Yeah, just a sweater off here because my chest is cold. Alright. Here, take all your sweat stuff. You got it? Yeah, I got it. You got it? Alright, so are you... How do you feel right now? Do you want a jacket on or do you want to let the sun get on? Let the sun get me? There you go. Oof. I was nervous for a second we weren't going to be able to get him back on. I know, too. I'm just glad you had the strength. You had a lot of strength in you, Foster. You had the strength. That's a long way to the shore. That was plan B for sure. Pretty far. But my legs were cold and, and I was okay off of it, but then my upper started getting cold. That's when I got like a little nervous. Yeah. Like, Yeah, we have to get my anchor and then we can head back. I'll go try to find it. All right, yeah, can you? Yeah. <laughs> See how far we drifted? Isn't that crazy? And you know. You want, here, take this in case you get cold. Oh, okay. Fishing rods? Yeah. Yeah, we really didn't lose much, so we're very thankful. Thanks so Everybody's safe. Mm-hmm. That's how far we drifted. Yeah. Dude, isn't that crazy how far we drifted though? Yeah. Well, I was going back that way, then I was like, let me just check my phone. It's crazy. I fell in, I fell in here. Yeah, you just and we went over there? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Ooh, yeah, this is right. I just didn't move. Alright, so I just want to show you this table. Uh Anything really under 60 degree water temperature, you have to be very careful. And we were at that cusp on this day, 61 degrees. And if you look at this, I mean, you really have to get out of the water relatively quickly. If you're in there for a couple hours, you can die. And so it is a very serious thing. Um, I think going forward, I'm always just going to wear my dry suit under 60 degrees. You know, I used to go by the rule of under 120 with air and water temps, but... You know, if you can't get back in your kayak, if the air temps doesn't really matter. If you're in the water and it's under 60 degrees, you're going to get cold very quickly. We didn't lose the fish, did we? Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're in the cooler. Oh, okay. Yeah, my dad worried about the fish, so I know he's doing good. Another couple things I just want to add, though. Uh, it was difficult to flip his kayak, more difficult than I thought, and that was a relatively light kayak with not too much gear. So I would recommend, you know, definitely trying to flip someone else's kayak because it wasn't easy. And, you know, a, another important thing is just make sure you go out with people, especially as the water cools. It's just very important. The more people you have, everything is just easier in case of an emergency. So, you know, that plus having dry clothes was a really good thing having a quick release on my anchor, and having a tow rope. No, just relax. All right, we're headed back in. Got my dad in tow. So, yeah, thankful we uh, were able to get him back in. But yeah, an eventful morning to say the least. A lot of sea bass and a few blackfish. The blackfish were kind of tough to set up on. Kept, you know, current was moving pretty good. But well, they were there. Definitely want to go back there sometime. But yeah, I was just thankful to get out here. I'm thankful that yeah, my dad was able to get back in. A little scary. But uh, it's good to not panic and have a plan. All right, see y'all next time.